Hey there, my name is Kathy. Welcome to the Junk Shack, baby. I begin this video thrift shopping for books to do this do. The best place to get them is my local junk store, 75 cents each. I needed 12 books, that's nine bucks so far. I am really digging these color block book sets, but as you can see, they're $99 a set. I'm going to start off painting all the books that are supposed to be the dark color, and then I'll go to the medium color and then the white color. If you can, stick around until the end because I have a bonus dupe that'll blow your mind. I almost feel sacrilege ruining a book like this. At least you can still read it. And there were a few books I picked up because of the size and I put them back because I knew I wouldn't be able to paint them. <laughs> I painted five books in this dark green color. There is a pretty good selection of different colored book packs that you can pick from on the Wayfair site. There's the marble color pack, the light mist color pack, denim and gold color pack, I'm naming my design the Modern Botanical Pack. Speaking of sacrilege, these are old hymn books. Well, not old, maybe from the 80s. Paint them, I am. I painted four books in this light green color. I painted three books white. Everything received two coats. All of the books have been painted. They are all lined up in the order by color that I wanted. And now I'm gonna let them dry for the next step. I post a lot of stuff on Instagram that just doesn't make it to YouTube. Follow me under Junk Shack Baby. Knowing I plan to put stickers on the spines of these books and no kind of stickers would stick, whether from my Cricut or from rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree, I went ahead and added a coat of Mod Podge to the spines of every one of these books. using the stamp a couple of times on two different books and some of the stickers from Dollar Tree, I put, just kind of randomly put them on some of the books and now I'm off to get some titles from the Cricut. It's the tiniest lettering because it's going on the spine of a book. So likely it's going to be a nightmare weeding it, but you know, we'll figure it out. Oh, it looks like it's gonna pull some pieces up for me. 
Yeah, it might not even work. We shall see. So thin, a few pieces came out, but I think I can probably do a little repair with a Sharpie because it's just a little tiny spot. Hopefully you won't be able to notice. The rest of it turned out pretty good. I had to scrap Eastern cotton tails. I'd like to take this moment to thank Sue over at Discovering the Art of Living for hosting this spring DIY dupe challenge. I've had a whole lot of fun. I'm going to put a link to her channel in the description box below so that you can check her out and find the playlist. A lot of creative people follow her channel. I'm excited to see what they all come up with. I have applied the transfer tape and now one-handed, I am going to pull my transfer off. I will not be able to apply it one-handed. But I'll essentially flip it around and stick it right on the edge, of, right along the spine of that book. Show you when I'm done. Let's remember, here is the inspiration for my Spring Dupe DIY. I think it turned out pretty good. There's no way I could exactly copy it, and I wouldn't do that anyway. I really just took the color scheme from it and how many books there were and that general design, but I turned it into something more that fits my decor. You could do this also. You could do blue colors and name all the beaches, do a beach theme. You can do farmhouse and, you know, it's so easy to tailor to your own decor style, minus plants and gardening. Way cool bonus stoop in 3.8 seconds. I really, really liked this collection also. It's just a cool saying. So I very simply took the dust covers from the books that I had removed earlier, turned them inside out, and cut out the words, the sayings on my Cricut and stuck them right on the dust covers. I can easily remove those dust covers and my books that I painted earlier are right under there. Isn't that great? I love when you can do a couple of things with one thing and really this didn't cost me any more money. I already had the vinyl and as you've seen before, it was $160. I imagine Wayfair's books were about Coco, Jackie, Audrey, and Lucy. Mine or not. Tell me, what do you think of that spring DIY dupe bonus challenge? Junk Shack style, baby. Here is my DIY dupe set minus the four books 
from my bonus set. Still just as cute as can be. Don't forget to check out Discovering the Art of Living. I will have a link to her channel in the description box below. Thanks a bunch for watching. See you guys next week. Same time, same place. Junk Shack, baby.